Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I got another rant for you today. Did you see it? Did you see what happened on first take a couple of days ago? I haven't recorded this yet because I've been saving it. Got a lot of stuff going on yesterday. Did a couple other things. But I got this rant for you today. Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp put Molly Curram on blast. I swear to God, I thought they were going to make her cry. That's how bad it got. But before I jump in, thank you so much. We are over 4,000 subscribers. We're actually over 4,150. Help us get to 4,200. I thank you so much. We're pushing, 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 pushing. Let's go. Anyhow, first take. They went at Molly Durham as she backpedaled for the hills, defending the fake bogus nonsense that the, the quartet of ESPN pundits, Monica McNutt, Drea Carter, Junia Gumake, and Carolyn Peck, who have all magically disappeared over the last four weeks. Oh, it seemed to coincide with the fact that the Indiana Fever are 7-1 and one since the All-Star break, and Caitlin Clark is averaging 25, 9, and 6 on 48% shooting from, two, from the field and 39% from three. You tell me again who's the goddamn rookie of the year, but I'm going to let you hear what they had to say about this situation on first take. Let's go. I must say, Shay Shay, I'm disappointed in you, and, and and Molly. I'm disappointed in you. I'm dis- because we've been this first. What time. happened? We 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 the the, the kind of heat that me and Shannon have had to take. Molly, what's up? You understand? Uh, because here's where I'm at, Molly. Where are all the ladies at? Huh? What did what did I say? I mean, uh, who's the? Where are they at? They went on vacation. They can't be seen right now because they'll have to answer questions that they don't want to answer. They have to admit the thing that, with all respect, ladies, that women hate to do when it comes to a man. It's say that I was wrong. We know as men how much you hate that. But they don't want to sit here and say I was wrong. But let's keep going with Stephen A. Bad guys, Shay Shay. And me, and me, we were the bad guys, Shay Shay. Me and you, we were talking about this girl, Caitlin Clark. Oh, let, 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 me, th- let me throw this out. Oh, By the way, what did he get? Anybody didn't think Ain't he was no going to be successful or not play. It was just that we felt the other players in the W deserve shine as well. Cap, 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 cap. Bullshit. No way. That is not what happened. That is not what they said. They said those women were better than her. They said she wasn't better than them. They said that she wasn't the rookie of the year. They said that Angel Reese was the rookie of the year. They said team record makes you the rookie of the year. They said PER makes you the rookie of the year. Oh, shit. Now the record is different. Now the PER is different. Now everything is hell. At the time, the numbers across the board were clear as to who was better, and y'all still denied it. You did everything you could to denigrate that girl, to dismiss that girl, to say she wasn't good enough, to say she didn't belong on the freaking Olympic team, because that's where all this came from, the Olympic team. And how many points did Diana Taurasi average on the Olympic team in a, in, when they damn near lost? Are you kidding me? Let's keep listening to this dribble out of Molly Curram's mouth. Keep going, guys. M- Molly, Molly. I said, really, Molly? Wow. Day. We, really? they jumped on us. They jumped on us, Molly. They jumped on us as a show. They jumped on us as a show when we were talking about it. Caitlin Clark, all the ladies out there, I, 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 and I love them. Monica, uh, Andrea, Janae, all of you. All of you. I'm, I'm looking for everybody, okay? I, I ain't going to look for Cheryl Swoop. She got issues right now. I understand that. You understand what I'm saying? When people getting on about Caitlin Clark, we'll talk about that another day. But here's what we go. We're going to stay on Caitlin Clark for a second here, okay? There is. Yes, that is exactly what happened. Remember what Monica McNutt said? Oh, you don't even cover the WNBA. Oh, the W. There was no reason to cover it. Nobody cared to watch it. Nobody gave a damn. Monica McNutt literally called out Stephen A. Smith and got her 15 minutes of shine, and then she since disappeared. No question. The race for rookie of the year is over. After what they did to the sky, after they've won their fourth straight, after they're over 500, they were just 500 the other day for the first time in two years when they were two and two. These, they, they doing their thing. And Caitlin Clark, last 12 games, 
23.4 points of 47 percent shooting second leading scorer in the entire WNBA behind the, the monster that is Asia Wilson who's gonna be league MVP and deserves it by the way the reigning two-time champion who probably is going three peat in my estimation she is just something special best player in the world as far as I'm concerned okay we got that going on 10.6 assists for Caitlin Clark leads the league She's the league assist leader, okay? Nine and three since July 6th, third best record in the WNBA over this time behind Minnesota and the New York Liberty. And I already added that they won four straight. And then the sixth seed, just two and a half games out of the fifth seed. They've now won five straight. And they're seven and one since the break. Caitlin Clark has been flat out balling. And she has elevated her level of play to a point. There is no debate. I understand Angel Reese has been doing a thing with the double doubles, like 24 straight double doubles. See, this is where Stephen A loses me. He doesn't even know the damn amount. <laughs> the record streak is not 24. The streak got stopped. She started a new one. I don't know what it's at right now. It's probably at like eight or so or something like that. Ten. Who knows? It's 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 not 24. She's done like probably 24 and 25 games, but it's not 24 in a row. And, and we all know how unbelievably bra padded that one is. Doubles and all yep. major props to her, and she deserves. She's gonna be number two, but Caitlin Clark gonna win Rookie of the Year. Caitlin Clark is in the conversation. She ain't gonna win it because Asia Wilson there. But Caitlin Clark is in the conversation for league MVP. I don't know if y'all already know that, but she in the conversation. League MVP as a rookie. So when I talked about her team USA and I talked about what she was bringing to the table and I talked about her marketability and how she's selling out everywhere she goes and the whole bit. Where everybody at now? I mean, have you seen them, Shay Shay? I mean, I, I can't. I, I haven't seen anybody. Have you seen them? I haven't seen them because we damn sure took a lot of heat. Stephen, we they went on vacation. It was a convenient vacation. I've watched first take for a long time. Stephen A. Smith, I can tell you when that man goes on vacation every year. He goes on vacation literally right after the NBA Finals ends. And he goes away for about a month. But if something pops up in that month that is big, whether it's in basketball or any sport for that matter, he gets on from wherever he's located. you got to give him that. The man works like a freaking animal and he will work and work and work i mean he's not married has adult children i think so it's like you know or older kids so it's not like he has to be at home the man is always working so when he goes on we know when he goes on vacation he doesn't go on vacation during the during in april or in may april at the end of the basketball season when there's the stretch run for the playoffs you're telling me that the four WNBA analysts for ESPN who appear on first take and majority of these shows all went on vacation at the same damn time while Caitlin Clark is lighting the world on fire. Convenient? Coincidence? I think not. We're talking about what this girl going to bring to the table. Now yeah. it's crickets. No What's one. Up? Denied the fact that she's a star and she couldn't play. It Bullshit. You did. You did. In fact, y'all said, I will. Drea Carter said, I will not sacrifice my integrity for marketing. First of all, you weren't sacrificing crap for marketing because Caitlin Clark is better than Diana Taurasi. Caitlin Clark is better than Kelsey Plum. Caitlin Clark is better than Jackie Young. Caitlin Clark is better than Sabrina Ionescu. Caitlin Clark is better than Kyle Copper. Caitlin Clark is the best goddamn guard in the WNBA. And she was then. She is now. Get the fuck out of here. It was just that it takes. Y'all were denied it, Molly. Don't do that. And there's other Don't do that, Molly. Thank you, Shannon. Don't do that. Y'all did deny it. See, the selective memory. She's playing defend. She's playing defense lawyer. For her four friends who are being, who, they're not there. That's their fault. Why aren't they there? Where have they been? Because they should be challenged for the crap that came out of their mouths that they don't want to answer to.
Shannon, what are you saying? People didn't Don't think do that, that Caitlin Clark was talented? Be what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that a lot of you came up here and because Caitlin Clark was getting shine, you guys were saying, don't give Caitlin Clark shine because there were women that was very far hard that don't get shine. So no, we're not, I'm not gonna let you do it, Stephen A. Yeah, Mike, there were a but lot I'm not of people that laid it. the groundwork. Fuck the groundwork! The groundwork? Do you mean the groundwork of a league that averaged 300,000 fans watching a game just last year? That groundwork? You're drunk. You are smoking something, Molly. I don't know what you were on, but you're just going to sit here and say the groundwork of a failure, catastrophe, garbage can of a league? She's literally set the record for every freaking attendance mark, television rating, the, the, the amount of money that the Indiana Fever is printing right now because of her. You can't buy a jersey of hers, a T-shirt of hers. All of it is sold out. The basketballs that they made for her, sold out. It's gone. And you're going to come up here and say the groundwork. Oh, my God. For a, a, a sport that was drawing 300,000 fans a game last year, that even earlier this year was drawing in certain, on, the, on league pass 60,000. When she wasn't playing, stop. That deserve shine as well. He, here, here, the, and deserving shine's got nothing to do with what was going on. You think, this, first of all, you don't deserve shit. I keep hearing this fucking word about deserve. You don't deserve anything. Just like you don't deserve your job. Stephen A doesn't deserve his job. Shannon doesn't deserve his job. You know what happened? You earned your job. Stephen A earned his spot. Shannon Sharp earned his spot. Caitlin Clark earned it. She earned it by drawing 18.6 million freaking fans who turned on the damn TV for the Iowa USC National Championship game. The 14 point whatever it was versus UConn. You want to know the difference between that UConn game against Iowa and the USC game against, I don't even remember who they played. I think it was NC State, if I am not mistaken. But I don't remember. Nobody cares. But I'm pretty sure it's NC State. The NC State game drew about seven, six or seven million. And the Iowa Yukon game drew 14 plus million. There's your Caitlin Clark effect. She earned it. Deserves. She earned that shit. She earned her fans. It's a damn shame that those other players didn't earn fans. Are they playing now? Are they playing now? We don't have. We don't have Cooper did. We don't have Monica. We don't have Andrea. Remember, you got to delay. We don't have any of the women, Chanae. They'll come back on. We'll revisit this conversation gladly. But we got to switch over to. Ella es un come mierda. In Spanish, that means she's a shit eater. Because that's bullshit. That's straight up bullshit. What she said. Well, we don't have them here. Oh, well, when you did have them here, what they do? They literally attack. Stephen A. and Shannon Sharp, and called them out, created their own fame, and sat here on a podium. The fact of the matter is they were wrong, and they disappeared because they are wrong. Even the other day where I finally saw a glimpse of Monica McNutt on SportsCenter, she's asked about the Indiana Fever, and what does she say? Kelsey Mitchell's been balling. Yeah, she has. And Caitlin Clark's been playing well, too. You mean the back-to-back -back player of the week? You mean the July player? I'm sorry, August or Ju I don't even know what month we are. The, uh, the August player of the month? The rookie of the month? Oh, the, the, you mean the best player on the team? Oh, she's playing well, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's averaging 25, 9, and 6 since the All-Star break. She's playing well, too. That's the type of side white side side-handed or backsided compliment when it's basically a fucking insult. So miss me with the nonsense, Molly Q. Miss me with it. Get those ladies back on the show and let them catch the bullets, catch the strings, because they, they have to answer some damn questions for the things they had no problem saying on live television where they denigrated and disrespected Caitlin Clark over and over and over again.
That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. And I got more going tonight, baby. Let's go. Come on now.